Right, on this one, I've drew a little sketch and I'm going to try to make this going to be a lake, some trees and stuff. Now, I'm going to try and make it three dimensional. That's 3B. A lot of people's never ever seen anything in 3B before. If you've never seen anything in 3B, um, if you go to pictures, sometimes they have a film on in 3B so you can see what it actually looks like. But this, I'm going to try and create the illusion of three dimensional. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm sort of trying to do. In all my paintings, get some like illusion of depth and three dimensional. Right, so I'll make a little start. So my stuff, my sky, wants to look far back because that's the farthest away. So I want my sky far back. So let's have a look. Get some nice dark blue. Probably a bit too much water on my brush there. Let's try that there. Nice. That in there. Then it comes down, down, down to there. Now. See how that's darker there and there, even that's doing me three dimensional look because the sky up here, if you look straight up, the sky at the top's closer to you than that one if you're looking right out into the distance, so that's why that's paler. Right now, I'm going to do the same with lake. My lake's going to be paler here and get darker here because it's closer. So, colours as they come closer tend to get um, darker brighter and stuff so let's just whack a bit of water in this back bit here well whack a bit back whack but water in it all because but I need my colour to get stronger nearer and lighter farther away so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go over this at the front bit again in a minute to get it a bit deeper a bit stronger -er. there that's looking pretty good to me that yeah like that Right, so now I'll just dip in and get some stronger for this front bit. Try and keep it in a straight line because water flows straight. So if you end up with your sort of lines going wobbling and stuff, well, water doesn't wobble, it goes straight. So we need it straight. Right, I think that'll do. It's missed a little bit there, but it looks like a bit of, what, a little bit of light hitting it. So I'm going to leave that. Oh, drinking my water. Um, oh. I'll just have a little dry actually. Let's get a little dry. Mainly on this video. So now, this furthest back hill that I'm going to put in there, that's going to want to have a bluey shade to it to make it the closest colour to that sky it is, the further it's going to look away. So this is like a bluey, sort of. I've got some blue and I've gone into my dark colour. What's a bit of Payne's grey? Just going to just mix it. Two or someone's making a racket outside. Just mix the two. Is that too strong? I always have a little bit of test paper as well. See if it's too strong, and it is. So I'll just white that down a bit. There. That should be sound. Right. So I'll come in here. Just come all the way across. Bring it pretty much nearly all the way down to the horizon line there. Come down a bit there. Back up a bit again. And then like across there, and then I'm going to dab into some more water and soften it all. Soften it all down. Quite like it sometimes if I leave a tiny few little bits of just like them little bits there, just little bits of plain paper, and it always looks like. Um, bits of light hitting things I'll soften that even more to about there that's it and then 
there's loads of mist in here so I've got to soften right uh, into here Illusion of mist. Right. Now, nah, so I think just the same colour. Um, there's some trees. And the trees are reflecting straight into water. So, that's what these trees in. These trees more or less just sort of look black, really. I'll wipe them in. turn this upside down they're going darker at the bottom than at the top so I'll spin it round better I'll come in all the way across I'm gonna mist in this as well in a minute all the way across there like that pop a bit of mist in in a minute Slightly bigger ones in and stuff. Hopefully, these are looking like trees. Let's have a look at this top bit now. Just bring it back down. Yeah, they're coming across as trees, I think. They've got to look like trees that's miles away. And if they're doing that, then I'm happy. Right, there's a lot of mist in there. So, get some mist, pop a bit of mist in. Yeah, I'll pop my mist in, just for my tissue. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. There we are, so you can just see them, it's just a bit misty. So that's that, and then, right, we've got this land coming across here now. Little land coming across here, right, so let's darken this a bit now. Something about like that. Well, probably, might be as well working the opposite way with this, to be honest. Let's do that. Yep, so then I can get my lightest colours in first. So I'm going to work forwards, backwards for a bit. My lightest colours in. So let's get some of these in. That tree up there. There's a bright yellow on there. What's just full of yellow, so I'll leave that one for now. Pop all these in, I think. Just start to come in here. Some different shape ones in back here. Let's see, something like that. Dee, 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 dee. Bring some of this down into your. That's it, right. Let me get a spare brush. I think I'll just use that one, will do. I want some pure yellow. Just pure yellow for about there. Like that shadow in there, and then I think I'll have a bit of orange. That's nice. A bit of bright orange in there. That's it. Same with that. I'll bring it down into there. Dee 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 dee. Set. Sad. Actually, I suppose to bring all these down really. Those as well while I'm at it. Bring all them down for all my reflections in there. These reflections are slightly darker and a bit bluer. That's because they're gonna go in with the water and that as well, but that would happen naturally in the wild, so don't worry. Right, so that's that. Um, now I want to thicken up that greeny colour now. So if I get that, that some darker greens in here. So, Something like this, 
Oh, that's nice. Take some through from that. Same again, bring it right down into here. It's all going to be the same. Have some bits in there. Bits in there. So, um, this is going dark in here. That's just sort of landing there. That's it. Um, right. I think I'm going to. We've got this, some dark trees in the background there. I might pop them in. They're really, really dark. I'll pop them in. So I'll mix up a dark colour and then I'm going to go over it with an even dark colour. So this sort of comes in about here like this. These are miles away. Say it, that'll do me, then I'm going to go even darker, even darker green. Let's try that right. I think I can get right into these bits here now when it's really dark green. Hopefully, this will make these light greens stand right out and it'll look dead nice. Dee, 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 dee. So much about like that. And I've even left odd little highlights in there as well. So I've got my darks, my lights, my highlights, all sorts in there. That's it. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I may as well use this dark green while it's on my brush now. There's loads of real darks right in here as well. So we'll get them in. Looks like they're sort of on this side. So my light's coming in from the left. Same again, so copy what you're doing up top into here. That's it, then I want some even darker. Actually I'm going to pop in, where is it, right down here. This is just black, down here. It's jet black, it's dead dark. So this whole lot is all in shadow. So I'll just stick that all in there, and then it's a bright bit there. Uh, dee, 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 dee. If you sing while you're doing it, it's, it makes it better. Era. There we are, some more in there, and all keep repeating down bottom what's happening up to the top. There we are. There. Yeah, quite like that. <laughs> Right, so now I need these trees over here, so I'll squeeze that out and start again now, go back to my light colours. These aren't quite as light back there on this next bit. I'm tempted to go to a smaller brush, let's try it with a smaller brush anyway. So mix up some nice greens and coming in with a smaller brush, just make it easier for me to send. So it's just sort of like that. That's nice, it's looking good. Up there like that. Right, all right, let's uh, pull this down into this water here. Look. Need the shadows. There, something like that. The middle bit can go darker, that's okay. Get this bit darker in here. Oh, I've splashed. Try not to splash. I'll turn that into a bird in a bit. That can be Peter or Potter in a bit. Splash, turn it into a bod. Yeah, that's quite dark in there. So I'll wipe that in a bit dark. And then it's sort of here. If I get that colour sort of coming to here, it's sort of it's dark around there. I don't know, this is pretty dark. Something like that. And then that 
sort of... Hmm. Not blending in nice enough. Think so. Right. Go back to my big brush. What colour have I got on it? Let's get a lighter colour on. Bit lighter colour again. Just I think just sort of come in here and blend a bit more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come up here. I want this a bit higher. I'm gonna take this up a bit higher. So I'm gonna look same thing on there as what I've done below it. And the darks and stuff, so I'll get some really dark now. Like a bit of that in, same as in that bit below rail up. And it's all softening in because it's all miles away. So come back into these bits right in here look. So I'm going to help this stuff here, can go back in again, a bit more detail in there. Right, I think I need my dabber, there's a lot of runny paint going everywhere, so I'll just get a bit dabbing in that reflection there, that's better. Right, now I'm just looking at this, I think this needs to be a lot darker, so yeah, I'm just going to go in, darken it on. Right in here, I think it needs to be a lot darker. Yeah. Something like that, and then a bit down in there and all. What's that looking like? See, even that, I think because there's a lot of water in it, it's going to go a lot lighter. That's going lighter already. So I'll tell him, let's get the whole thing and dry and see what we're looking at. I'm just gonna put this flat on in here a minute to dry it. Don't want to pull it away. Anyway. Right, I'm just gonna All I did then, I put it flat on my knee so I could tilt it and get them colours to go exactly where I wanted them. So they're going where I want them, not where they felt like going. There we are, even a little bit darker in there, that's it. Might a bit of blue in, stick a bit of blue in, make it more interesting, that's it, that's nice. There, stick a bit of, a bit of red in and all. Bring it a bit closer, there. More interesting than just the browns and stuff, and then since I've done all that, let's get some bright colours again and just melt a few of them in there again as well. There we are. Just melt it there. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice. And here now, right, get all this foreground in there, I think. So I'll we'll start with a nice light colour. So it's usually, always usually, mostly start with lights and work down into darker, darker errors later. There we are. Yeah, that, and we'll get some darker colour. Mix it all, it's a bit bright, so I'll stick some red in it to cool it down. Dee, dee, dee. Oh, that's nice. Ended up with a nice rock colour. Stick some of that in quick. A few rocks in there. Uh, some more yellow, some more green, some more green in. Just splodging this in pretty quick now. Yeah, we'll go darker. For some more of these rocks. Darker bits. I'm getting pretty close now. Grasses and stuff. There we are. Let's get me a scratchy card. Whack a few rocks in. Take that off now. A few little rocks up there. Look. In there. Few in there. I've got some great big ones in here. There we are. Little rocks, then uh, there's that little scratchy thing. I'll do it with this. Some 
grasses in. There are well some grasses at the side of these rocks. Okay, a few little bits and bobs in there and all, really. Little things going on. Yeah, it's a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Um, just stand back and have a look. That's looking alright. Oh, I drink of water. Yeah. Oh. Right. See what we can do with some water lines now. So let's just have a go. I don't know what's going to pull out and why some of these colours might stain a bit. Right, so looks like there's a. Where's my horizon line in there? Let's see. I think it's there. Oh no, I don't think that's going to pull out. No, there's no way that's pulling out. This might. There, that has done look. Even take a bit out across there. That's it. That's it. Ah, try it. And pull it out a bit more. Try it. Pull it out a bit more. Uh, it's pretty nice. This should cut out pretty good in here. This a lot of these cerulean style blues, the um, stain a lot. It's in there, a little bit there, look. There, that's pretty good. You can dab with cloth and all's a good way. In fact, I'm not going to because some of that other stuff's wet. I'm going to take all the other stuff out. Right, so let's pop that in like that, across there. Dab that clean again. Back in there. There we are, and then I think. That's that one. That's that one coming in that way there, like that, into there. So it's going into it that way. That's like a bit of green coming out. There, a bit of white line there. It's nice, doesn't it? Uh, right. I'm going to get some designer's white gout and uh, see where I can go. Got a bit of designer's white gout. I'm going to pop one in. Right there. I'm going to pop one in in here because that one didn't pull out at all. That looks dead strong at the minute, but that'll dry a lot lighter than where it is. Add some extra bits in here. Same again. Looks really, really white at the minute, but it will dry a hell of a lot lighter. So if it looks a bit mental at the minute, it not be. So there, that's it. And then let's have one there. Nice big in there. And then I think let's leave it because you can go up at top. Is that one straight? You've got to try and get these straight, else it will look odd if your water looks like it's going down an hill or something. See that one's soaking in already, look. There we are. Um, Stand back. I wonder if it needs a little boat or out in it. Let's just stand back and have one. I think that's okay as it is. Right, I'll show you what I'm going to do now. A little trick. A little trick. See that there where it's splashed? Let's make that into Peter and a little splash there and all. To make that one into Paul. There we are, Peter and Paul. Now one more there we go. Another one up there. Another little bod. There we are. To get a BD on it. We'll pop that. There. Boy. Dilly. Bertie Dilly. Jobs are good. In. Oh, I'll attempt to put a few little boats in the background, but I don't know how like it is. It is. Leave it like that. Right, I'll see you on the beach. Jobs are going. Yeah.